Hello, hello, and welcome back for more glittering gold and gruesome ghouls pulled from the chilly cellars and cavernous crypts of Perfidious Manor in Darkest Dungeon. And holy screaming Jesus on a flaming ass, did we haul a donkey load of cash out of the dungeon on our last episode. 25,000 glittering golden coins came out of old Perfidious Manor last time, and our bankroll is swelling up like Chris Christie at an all-you-can-eat seafood buffet. It's finally top to six figure mark, as you can see here, which means that other than a few crests and some trinkets for our crew here, well, there's really not a whole lot left for us to do in the darkest dungeon other than uh, pick up some resolve EXP, make a few legends and collect a pile of boss corpses. So, you know, I'm looking forward to uh, kind of approaching the end here. It should be an interesting time, though. That being said, we do still have a few maintenance items to take care of around the old hamlet before we head back into the old dungeon to try and get us another ass load of loot. An ass load, by the way, actually being an official unit of measurement, it's equal to the amount of mass that can be safely carried by one donkey. So, you know, when you say ass load, that's specifically what you're referring to. It's not true, by the way, I just fucking completely made that up, but it sounded neat, didn't it? Yeah, all right, anyway. First thing on our list of uh, sort of maintenance tasks, though, let's go see if we have yet again been spurned by the Arbalest, or if perhaps one finally fucking showed up. Take a peek here. Holy fucking shit. We do have an Arbalest. Ready to join our ranks to take what I might add is our final slot. So let's see what... Uh, I mean, it's not like we're going to say no, so it doesn't matter. But uh, we should still take a look and see what abilities they have. Backtracker is shitty. Shocker and Guilty Conscience are neither really huge of a deal breaker, so... We're taking it. And I think, really, given the proclivity for the long-range bow attacks here and our somewhat literary influences... There is no doubt who this is, folks. This is Katna Sevedeen! The little tribute from whichever fucking precinct she was from, because I don't remember, because I don't really like the Hunger Games, but Katna Sevedeen will be on our team. Sevedeen on your team is shooting to bring victory, which doesn't necessarily rhyme, and I'm going to quit doing my bad Stanley Tucci impression, because fuck, it's awful. Glad to have Katniss. Mostly I'm just glad to have an Arbalest. Finally, it's been like fucking forever. We actually finally managed to drag one aboard. What can We can't upgrade anything on the stagecoach. Why are you flashing like this can be upgraded? That's uh, just a little thing I'd like to throw out to the developers. Once something's fully upgraded, maybe take the little thing away. Just, uh, just an idea. Anyway, Katniss Everdeen is on board, which means we're damn sure doing a mission for her, but we do have... A few other little sort of peccadillos to take care of. Most of those revolve around some survivalist skills. We get all this cash. Let's let's make use of it. Dark Ritual, I don't really like. Dark Strength, we don't really need. Encourage, everybody should have Encourage. That's that's just on the board. Everybody gets Encourage. That's, that's the way it goes, folks. Henceforth, if you don't have it. Looks like we already did Candy Jade. Roderick Usher, we can't do. Madeline is done. Jack, again, we can't do. Doctor Strange, actually, we did. Lucy? Looks like we did Lucy as well. Chrysania. Bless is real good. We're going to buy that. I actually also like Sanctuary. Wound Care and Pep Talk, I can do without. We tend to focus pretty much exclusively on stress relief when it comes to camping skills. Looks like Deckard has already been taken care of. Brienne has not. Reject the Gods actually has uses. It's pretty good. Simpkin. Turn back time is fantastic. We absolutely want that. Every rose has its thorn. Also fantastic. Tiger's eye is also pretty good, actually. I really like mockery as well. You know what? The jester may be the one unit who does not need encourage. Although mockery does come at a cost. And let's give it to him just in case we need the versatility. The camping skills for the jester are freaking amazing, really. There's, there's no other word to describe them. They're fantastic. Gonna want Revel, gonna want Sharpened Spear. Fagin? You got clean guns, which is honestly the most important thing to have. Gallows Humor and Encourage, both I want. You know, let's buy Bandit Sense as well. We're really kind of going overboard on the camping skills here. I am burning through the cash, man. Like, spending like a drunk. Like a sailor on shore leave here. This is how we do it, yes. Plan Takedown. Actually, also, yes. I kind of like Plan Takedown as well. That's Django. Arya, of course we can't do her. Dorian Gray is going to get the standard sort of... Uh... No. Well, yes, actually, I kind of like Dark Strength. It's, I mean, it's okay. Garrett Jax, it's a cavalcade of awesome amongst the ranks of the 
Yeah, we're gonna we want all of these. They're all real good. Look at some of these buffs. Instruction, weapons practice, tactics. It, they're so ridiculously amazing. Do we want to, you know what? Let's keep spending. Screw it. I'm I'm drunk on my own power here, folks. I've got uh, I've got the cash and I'm not afraid to use it. I'm like a newly minted millionaire. It's all spend, 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 baby. That lot of money is never gonna run out, and I surely won't wind up living alone broke and poor in a cardboard box despite having pulled down a Powerball jackpot. That won't happen because that's not something that happens to lottery winners. Once you win, it's good times forever, am I right? Yeah, I'm right, I'm right. I'm just going to waste cash on Sanctuary even though I'm pretty unlikely to ever use it. I'm still going to do it. Fawn, let's get you sorted. Susan McAllister? No. I say no to Susan McAllister. Say no to Susan McAllister. You know what we're going to do though? We're going to say yes to Katniss Everdeen. Marching plan's pretty good. Repeating crossbows, fan, or restring, rather, is fantastic. Triage is real good. I don't know why I bought field dressing. It's actually not very good, but that's okay. Katniss Everdeen knows how to apply field dressing. She should damn well have the skill. I mean, PETA wouldn't even be alive weren't it for those fuck Katniss's fantastic sort of uh, medicinal abilities. I mean, she, she knows how to apply a poultice. Anyway, that's got us all sorted. Let's put a team together. This is going to be a low-ranked team, so let's see what we can do in the low-ranked team department. It looks like we're fairly strong in the low-ranked team department. Apart from Susan McAllister, and again, Susan. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. All right, so let's get old Florence Nightingale. Katniss Everdeen, of course, is also going to be joining ranks, so let's get Katniss in, in, in. We can't upgrade any of Katniss's skills or weaponry. Uh, we do need, actually, before we do that, we do need to head to uh, the old guild just to make sure that Katniss has the appropriate skills. Suppressing fire, Bola I actively dislike. What is blind fire? A random target. It gives her plus nine speed. That's interesting, but I think I like Battlefield Bandage way, way better. Susan McAllister, uh, we should... I hate to spend money on her, but eventually... Oh, we actually bought all her skills. Never mind. I was going to say, eventually we are going to use her. Command, we want bolster. Uh, command, no. Bellow, no. And, all right. We just want to make sure everybody has the appropriate skills. And it looks like we're actually okay. So let's get down two brass tacks then. Candace Everdeen, back rank. Florence Nightingale, rank three. Vaughn is going to be leading the charge from the front ranks. And this means we need a number two slot guy. We don't really have one. I think, actually, we may go double. Let's double up on the, uh, let's double up on the old uh, bandit arms here. I do not want to fight the Sonorous Prophet. A short mission to complete 100% of rune battles times two. With a Plague Doctor only reward there, that's garbage. These are all going to be boss fights. Yeah, this team is not equipped for the Brigand 8 Pounder. Definitely not equipped for the Inchoate Flesh. That is actually, I think, probably the most difficult of the new bosses. Ah, here we go. A medium to gather. Uh, I hate gathering holy relics. See what I'm talking about, mod makers? I mentioned this on a stream the other night, but when it comes to these things that have inventory items that take up slots, you almost never take them. You almost never take them. I would rather do this short mission and get this stun amulet because I'm going to be able to haul more treasure out of a short dungeon. I'm not going to take a medium length mission when I actually specifically want a medium length mission. Because these holy relics are going to prevent me from hauling out the maximum amount of treasure, crests, and deeds, and whatnot that I need. I will actively take a, cra a mission that I would... I want this mission more, and I'm actually going to take a different mission instead, simply because those holy relics take up inventory space. Don't make quest items take up inventory space. That's something you gotta change. Just take them out. Or, alternatively... Make this mission worth more gold as a base gold. If I have to have three of my inventory slots consumed, bump this up a little. Make the cash instead of 4,500 that you get for the default for a medium mission. Make it like 6,000. Make it 7,500. Do something to help compensate for the fact that a chunk of my inventory is going to be taken up with worthless garbage. So let's go do this. Sh let's do this short mission here for 100% of room battles so we can get this amulet we're never going to wear. Just so we can sell it. Mostly to get Katniss Everdeen some EXP, because we don't want to send our little tribute into the Hunger Games ill-prepared. That would be bad indeed. Just two shovels. We're not going to go crazy on this one. It's a short... We're gonna, Ten torches, honestly, is probably considerably more than we actually need. One of everything else. We got cash to burn, and we have been burning it. Burning it, burning it, indeed. Like a lighting cigars with $100 bills is what we're doing now. We're that rich.
it's really our opulence is getting kind of disgusting. I'm a little I'm a little sick of myself actually with the way I've been spending cash. Really am. I mean, there are starving kids in other hamlets. There are starving seekers who could use that money. There are people right now wandering around in a dungeon without adequate provisions, not enough food, not enough shovels, and I could be sharing that cash with them. I really feel a little bit guilty about my selfishness. I do. There are guys who don't have basic adventuring supplies, and what am I doing? Buying survival skills I don't even need and probably will never use. I'm a greedy, greedy man. Let's get to work then. Greed aside, ooh, somebody's getting rid of a negative quirk. Here at Jax, what do you got? You're anemic, which is shitty, a tippler, and nervous, which is also shitty. So he has two quirks we wouldn't mind getting rid of. Atama... I can never say this word right. Automatonophobia, which is actually kind of shitty. Night blindness, which is not bad at all, really. What about you, Flotown? A blue domania and hagiomania, neither of which we really give much of a shit about at all. And Katniss Everdeen has shocker and get yeah, You know what? It's gonna be, it's gonna be Garrett Jax. The weapons master is getting rid of himself a negative quirk. There we go. What did we get rid of? Nervous. I'll take it. That's fine. One of the two we really sort of wanted gone. Also. Nervousness, wholly unbefitting a man as awesome as Garrett Jax, the weapons master. I really gotta say, Garrett Jax is not a nervous sort. Also, let's make sure all of our skills are correct before we uh, kind of step into this one. I think, yeah. I might keep Crush on Vaughn, actually. Alternatively, eh, you know, Bolster's real good. I'm gonna keep Crush, actually. Ordinarily, I would not have Crush, but in this particular situation, I actually think Crush might be okay. Simply as we're going to look for some damage out of our... It's, it actually does no more damage than Retribution. It's the same damage as a bonus crit. Never mind, let's get rid of Crush. We'll put Rampart in in case we need to move. So that's our standard four skills then. I really like Bolster. Bolster is really good. Flowtown, I know you're fine. Actually, Katniss Everdeen, let's get you equipped. Can't have the girl on fire not firing at every opportunity. Otherwise, she'd be the girl not on fire, and I, I think we might actually be liable um, for some trademarked copyright violation there for Katniss to not be on fire. Somebody would throw three, three fingers up in the air out in the audience, and then, uh, you know, uh, Elizabeth Banks shows up and dresses us in a goofy outfit. We have to put up with Stanley Tucci. And then uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman comes and makes some vaguely threatening statements at us, and Donald Sutherland works in the wings. I'm not entirely sure what that series is actually supposed to be about, as I think you can tell based on my generalized confusion. I'm just going to go for the kill here. Little repost, we get that working. Garrett Jax is going to be firing back. Long shot, Katniss Everdeen not really starting things off as one would expect Katniss Everdeen to have started things off. That, uh, that miss was unfortunate, Katniss. What was that all about, dear? girl not on fire indeed so getting hooked where it hurts a little strike back trading three for four same thing here trading three for 12 so oh we didn't name our man at arms we have an unnamed man at arms here i am remiss in my duties i feel ashamed of myself deeply deeply ashamed for having let that pass this simply cannot stand this must be rectified immediately immediately we cannot have a Vaughn. Vince Vaughn clearly is no man-at-arms. Simply will not stand. Let's see here. Sort of a tanky kind of... Oh, you know who this is going to be? This is Bruinor Battlehammer. Except that won't fit. Let's just go with Bruinor. He was a tank, right? Bruinor was a tank. Kind of a dwarfish-looking fellow. I mean, our man-at-arms is a little short here. Although, I just made a vicarious comparison between Bruinor Battlehammer and Garrett Jax, and I really feel that Garrett Jax kind of suffers. I'm, I'm sorry, Garrett. I didn't mean it, buddy. It's just spur of the moment. It was the best I could come up with. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Also, I should be censured for making reference to a Salvatore character. He's not the greatest writer. Then again, I feel the guy gets a lot of undeserved hate either. It's not like he wasn't publishing stuff people wanted to read. He wrote to his audience. You got to give him credit in that respect. He knew what people wanted and he gave it to him. And then he gave it to him. And then he gave it to him again. And he gave it to him some more. And then he kept on giving it to him right past, you know, any fucking sense of reason. But I digress. How are we getting scouting in hallways now? I mean, I'm not upset by the fact that we get scouting in hallways now, because I kind of like that. I'm just curious if that's a new mechanic. I have to assume that's something new to Fiends and Frenzy. That did not used to happen. We got some treasure here. Ooh. 
Uh, altar we can absolutely do nothing with. So, hooray, I guess. Let's start reposting this bad boy. The problem with reposting units that have area of effect attacks is... They can just hit you with an AoE effect and you get the repost, but it still hits everybody else. I mean, they're not any more inclined to hit you, per se. Little shank action. I love the fact that they shanked our guy who reposted twice. That's quite nice for us. Yeah, Jax, of course, did not get a chance to shank. The other thing is, of course, the point blank shot can still happen as well. We are not in fantastic shape here, to be honest. Let's, uh, let's have Katniss Aberdeen apply a poultice to old Garrett Jax, the weapons master there. Then I think we'll throw some heals at Garrett. We're just going to keep on reposting until our enemies are all the way dead. This guy's going to kill himself. Yeah, there you go. Two man at arms beat him down with the shield. Same thing is going to happen here. Whack. That's actually a pretty strong combo to fight AoE attacks as you have multiple guys on repost. I kind of like that. That's a really, really good strategy. Double reposting, you get hit by an AoE attack, everybody swings. I wonder if that's how it works or if it just one guy swings. Now that I think about it, it might only be that actually one of them was swinging, which would be somewhat unfortunate. They should both get their shots in. That should be a combo that works. We're doing pretty solid little journeyman work here. We've got uh, some rank zero guys who are kind of holding it down for us. Battlefield medicine all over the place. Katniss Everdeen delivering poultices like mad. Nobody's dying of poison on Katniss's watch, damn it. Cadness just simply will not stand it. And Florence Nightingale has been spot on with the heals. The the so there we go. That was a... Yeah, they do both repost. Excellent. So we did get both the damage. We actually got 12 off of that repost. Very, very nice. I like that a lot. I like it. I like it. I like it. Did I mention that I like it? Because I, I kind of like it. It's a, it's a good thing. It's actually a remarkably effective strategy. I'm beginning to wonder what four men at arms just on repost would look like. Can we put a torch on this? No. The sacrificial stone, yeah, we can't... I can't remember if it's the sacrificial stone or the sacrificial altar that's for firewood. Pretty sure it's the altar. Either way, we don't want to fuck with this thing. Let's just get out of here. We got another fight that's coming up. Would like to try and get some healing on our badly wounded... We're still bleeding an awful lot, also. I'm just kind of throwing that out there. We got a lot of bleeding people. Might want to maybe staunch the flow. Because Garrett Jax is now bleeding from the testicle region. He got hooked where it hurts, and that's unfortunate because he hasn't reposted. Nice shot back from Bruinor. Way to fire back. Yeah, we got to get some heals here on Garrett Jax. He is not in the best of shape. Five damage. Yeah, it's pretty reasonably solid output. Big heal for... Well, Garrett Jax did not get as much healing as we would necessarily like. Katniss Everdeen also could really sort of use a heal here. Gonna have her patch, and then we may throw the group heal with our next cleric action. Assuming we get one, it's possible these guys get killed by our reposting. Nope, we're gonna get another one. So let's go for the group heal. Two all around is not necessarily as much as we would have liked, but... Should be enough to get the job done, I think. Yeah, this is, uh, this is gonna be it. So our little friend in the fucking diving helmet there got his diving helmet caved in. Didn't do him a whole lot of good. Let's eat some food. That's that's one way we can sort of patch up. In between fights, we'll take a little nosh there. Pile of bones. Let's have... Pile of bones. Yeah, I think this is just treasure, but Katniss has a little stress. Let's have her throw a holy water at the pile of bones. She didn't even pay for it and got us a portrait that we don't have any kind of use for at all. Kind of scavenging is that, Katniss. You're supposed to fucking go to the cornucopia and come back with the good shit. We send you to the cornucopia and what do you bring back? A moldy old painting. Come on, Everdeen. Come on. District 13 is going to be really fucking pissed at you when they watch this on TV. So, Garrett Jack's starting things off with a little wallop for our cutthroat friend. And Bruinor is just going to keep up the attack. At this point, I'm actually kind of draw out the AoE attacks. Ouch, Katniss getting shanked right in the fucking liver. That's not doing anybody any good. Let's go for the group heal. Solid aggregate healing there. And, uh, yeah, this guy may die. He, in fact, died because he got double hit for six. Going for the single attack with the punishment, starting to bleed. The bleeding is a bit of a problem for the man-at-arms here. Uh, you know, Katniss, shoot this guy in the eye. That is not the eye. Just pointing that out, Katniss, so that you can adjust your targeting system in the future and make sure that you shoot people exclusively in the eye 
and or other facial region. I mean, it could be either eye, possibly in the nose if you'd like, although that seems a little weird. Shoot him in the nose. That's kind of a thing to, kind of a strange thing to aim for, Katniss. In the mouth, also acceptable. You want to punch an arrow at the back of their spine from the bottom of their skull, severing their uh, spinal cord in the uh, in the process. That was a ton of fucking stress. Katniss cannot heal herself. That's the one complaint I have about battlefield bandages. You can't use it. The arbalest cannot use that ability on themselves. Other than that, it's fantastic. It really is very good. Twenty percent extra healing, and it's a stackable buff as well. And the bonus increases the higher level you get. Ouch. Probably actually should have guarded there. That might have been a mistake. All right, so it's it's actually not a mistake because it's in the dungeon. So we can do whatever we want now. We're free. Woohoo! We can do whatever the hell we want. We can go insane if we'd like. And I'm considering it. Hidden compartment, 100 gold, another shovel we didn't really need. Let's use this bandage then. And let's have Katniss. We are going to keep four food in case we run across the hunger prompt. It's not out of the question. There are no more room battles here, but I would still like to kind of check this thing out. The rest of this dungeon, see if we can maybe haul out a little extra cash. 30% for Garrett. 10%. 0% for Katniss Everdeen. So that's the drawback to this group is when it comes to traps, they basically find them by simply leaping atop them aggressively. Uh, Bruinor wants you. Oh, there we go. Bruinor got a quirk. A good quirk. He is irrepressible, like a kender. Uh, excuse me, Darkest Dungeon, I think you have mixed some of your ontologies. Bruinor Battlehammer is actually from the Forgotten Realms. He is not, I repeat, not from Kryn. You're, uh, you're confusing Dragonlance and Forgotten Realms. Uh, a mistake that a nerd such as myself simply cannot let pass. Gotta call you on that shit. I'm sorry, I, didn't, I don't want to do it, Darkest Dungeon, but you should know better, frankly. So let's just let uh, old Darkest Dungeon's sort of confused ontology problem. We'll just let it slide for now. Uh, don't do, don't let it happen again. Don't you let it happen again. I mean, if we wanted to make him irrepressible like a kinder, theoretically it should not have been Bruin or Battlehammer, but we should have had Flint. Was it Flint Fireforge, I believe? Yeah, we, we should have gone with Flint in that case. Speaking of moonshine barrels, let's drink what's inside there, get a nice buff for ourselves in the process. And it's final fight time. And no, I don't mean a shitty 2D fight game. It's actually the, just the last fight of the dungeon, which is considerably better than final fight, I might add. Uh, unusual dodge there. I'm kind of pleased to have... Let's get rid of this drummer, if we can. The drummer's got to go because he is a stress attack unit. Stress is sort of our weakness at this time. You know, this team actually would have... If you were to have three men-at-arms, I honestly don't think they would have enough aggregate... I really don't think they would have enough aggregate healing to really go through some of the higher level dungeons. I think two might be pushing the limit, actually. Because they got to take a lot of damage to deal damage, which is a little unfortunate. Katniss Everdeen eliminating our stress problem for us. And getting a little stress relief of her own. Nicely done, Katniss. Good shot. Chris Hemsworth's brother would be proud of you. He would be even prouder of that shot, because that was a remarkably stalwart blow right there. Katniss Everdeen holding it down with her little crossbow. A little repost from Garrett Jax, and this fight is over, folks. It's going to be a retribution beatdown for our fantastic fat pig friend here. There you go. That's game, Donald Sutherland. We win the Hunger Games. Hunger Games. Yeah, we won them. We took it all. Took it all. Philip Seymour Hoffman would be pissed, except he's dead, so it's going to be hard for him to really be pissed about anything, I guess. And let's get the hell out of here. A little more stress on uh, Garrett Jackson we would have liked. Some experiments should have never happened. Like your summoning of weird pig demons? You're probably right. That's uh, maybe an experiment you could have taken a pass on there, Mr. Ancestor. So, crests really are the only heirloom we even care about. I didn't pay attention to our treasure at all at that point because at no time was our treasure sack really sort of full. Garrett Jacks becoming a warrior of light. All right, so I kind of like that ability. We often are above 75 Torchlight. Steady is solid for Katniss Everdeen as well. Katniss does seem remarkably resilient to stress, so that's I sort of a fitting tribute for Miss Everdeen. The manor, but I was dead a little stress removal for Ron Weasley as he meditated. Probably studying one of Dumbledore's uh, many, many fine works. Fear of the Unholy is gone. Zoophobia is gone. Mrs. The Spot is gone. Katniss made it to rank one. 
Orange Nightingale made it to rank two, that's actually a little bit of a problem for us. We're going to have a couple troopers who may have to go in a dungeon that is way, way higher rank than they would normally be accustomed to so they can catch up in the Resolve EXP department. Candidates for that specifically going to be Bruin or Susan and Katniss because without Florence Nightingale there to heal them, I mean, we could run theoretically this party. It's just, it's a bad party. I guess they could do short missions exclusively, but uh, I don't, I don't necessarily like that. All right, well, let's do some upgrades while upgrades are here to be had. We got the cash, might as well spend it. So we're going to upgrade um, focus. Yeah, I like revenge. Let's do focus. Do I really need focus? I can't remember having used focus. What else have we got? Withstand is actually pretty good because it's a stress heal. Yeah, you know what? I think we may change Ron Weasley's abilities a little bit. Um, given the trinkets that we give Ron. Well, that we'd like to eventually give Ron. I don't really think that focus is going to be necessary. I think probably we'd be better off going retribution and withstand for the stress heal. And Bruinor, let's get you in here, buddy. We're going to upgrade Rampart. Yeah, here we go. Just the standard four for you. McAllister, I hate you so much. Noxious Blast is bad. Plague Grenade is bad. But you got to have both of those. They're sort of key abilities. Blinding Gas, no, it's crap. Battlefield Medicine is bad. Emboldening Vapors is less bad, but it's still not good. Disorienting Blast is shit. <laughs> Screw it. I, I don't really care what abilities a Plague Doctor has. If I'm taking a Plague Doctor into the dungeon, I'm dragging them by the fucking skin of their teeth anyway. They don't want to be there. I don't want them there. Nobody's going to be happy. Where is Sniper? Yeah, uh, we have the wrong abilities on you, Katniss Everdeen. You gotta have Sniper's Mark. We gotta, we gotta fix that. Katniss needs Mark. I like Suppressive Fire. I just like Mark more. There we go. Much better. Katniss is sort of... We sort of leveled... Uh, we could we could do Florence Nightingale. She'll need leveled skills. It's fun and easy to do, folks. Garrett Jack's actually likewise probably gonna need some skills leveled. Yeah. Got him taken care of. Let's also take Garrett and Florence to the old blacksmith here. Might as well get him some weapon and armor upgrades while we're doing things. Get them tanked up to level three. We have blown through a lot of our bankroll. Apparently somebody gave Chris Christie a shot of uh, epinephrine because his swelling has gone down remarkably despite the fact that he's gorged himself at a seafood buffet. Anyway, I think we're going to go ahead and end things here. We've got all of our maintenance items taken care of, so nothing to do now but just keep toiling away at this dungeon until we crack it open like the rotten egg that it is. If you enjoyed the episode, of course, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section. Your support really does mean a lot to us. And if you'd like to see more Darkest Dungeon, we post new episodes three times a week, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Consider subscribing as well. Right now, however, thanks very much for watching. We'll see you again soon.